old things. He... I was just telling them about Grandpa. Do you remember the time when he couldn't decide between something old and something new? spring sunshine, trees burst into blossom round the farm, and birds burst into song, and spread eagled in the sun, Boniface was feeling fit to burst as well. Philomena wondered how anyone was expected to sleep on a full stomach. Certainly seem to think so. She's simply covered in them. That's true. And, and Pup's got patches too. Huh? What's got into your head now? Well, I was just thinking well, I'd look great with a patch on one eye to match the one on my ear. Would you like patches, Boniface? Certainly not. I prefer to be plain black. Luckily, our coats last a lifetime, patch or no patch. Oh, how can you wear a coat like this? It's too badly split. Too old to mend. Threadbare, I'd call it. You should have a new one. You're much the best. Oh, I know what's best for me, and that's my favourite coat. It's worn in. It's worn out more like. I'll make you a new one. Oh, I'll never get used to it. Wait and see, wait and see. Now I need a sleeve. A collar. Lapel, uh, back and front. Right. Oh, I oh, need two of each, one for left and one for right. But I've got some left. <laughs> wow! Now I can cover myself in patches. Wow! Oh, I'll give you wow. Get out of it. Bonnie face, bonny face, I've found some enormous patches. Look over there. Patches may suit some, Philomena, but I prefer being just plain. Oh. Oh, go through. The sooner I can stitch this up, the better. There we are. Straighten it out and I'll, um, I think I'll just run up here. I think I'll just run up here. <laughs> wow. Oh, I dropped my thread. I'll never get this coat sewn up with you around, Philomena. Now go on, get out of it. Off you go, in the garden. And don't let me catch you on the newly sewn flower beds, neither. But there were others already there, chucking in with gusto. Oi, get away, you birds. This is my patch. Grandpa, look. I finished your new coat. Try it on. Oh, I don't want a new coat. I prefer my old one. After all that, how ungrateful. 
fits nice. Looks good on. Well, that's just it. It's too good to work in, don't you think? Oh, can't you, can't you do something with my old one, please? Oh dear, I don't know. If one's too good and the other's too bad, what do I do? I know what she should have done. Listen to me, you two. Do you want to help? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's ingratitude. In what did you? Ingratitude. Yes. What he said. Look, if we are to stop Grandma being upset, we, uh, or rather you, must take matters into your own hands. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Into your own paws, yes, yes. Right, I think I know what you mean. Come on! Get it! Pull! That's it! That noise? Where's it coming from? Sounds like inside. It's that young kitten and pup. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh, Grandma, look. <laughs> What's going on? Wait. Wait, that's my old coat. Oh, well, that settled it. It's no good for wearing now. Now I ask you, is it? Hey. <laughs> Just a minute. I know someone who could wear a coat like that. What? An old thing like that? Well, whoever they are, they're welcome to it. There you are. Just what you needed. That on top. A well-dressed scarecrow. <laughs> Ready to scare away them birds. Go on, get to it. <laughs> and me, I'll get back to work wearing in my lovely, beautiful new coat. It is a beautiful coat, isn't it, Bonnie Face? <laughs>